Looks like we own the system tonight, boys. Okay. Hi, it's Apple1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I've got footage from a pirate takeover of the CG. Basically, on the 17th, on the Thursday, the first day of the CG, uh, we basically took it over, and um, yeah, there were more pirates down here than anyone else, and we got free reign to do whatever we wanted. Um, I got down here first, I was just across in Seoul doing a bit of piracy, someone said the CG was over in Luton Star so I went over and checked it out, that was about 20 past 7 galactic time and just before midnight we all disappeared off on our merry way and uh, from well, basically then until midnight we ran the roost and robbed whoever we felt like it. It was uh, fun times, we uh, got a lot of PvP piracy done. I got some PvE piracy done. There's nothing better for filling the gaps between PvP targets than a nice bit of PvE piracy from these private couriers. And they tend to spawn a lot of community gold systems and they're really good. If you take out their point defense and then aggro them, you just aggro pirate them quite happily and they drop a lot of precious stuff. Um, way more valuable than the stuff that I was getting from players, but then I was robbing players for the CG stuff. Uh, this was a fun Type 9 that gave us tons of cargo. Uh, Pirates are Us collected most of it. I got a little tiny bit, but I spent my time battling with this Faz. And this Faz was just like on the sideline watching, and I was a bit like, what are you doing? So I rammed him to see what his intent was, and uh, he started attacking me, so uh, all was fair. Um, my canopy got taken out almost instantly, but I carried on in there. One of the staples of all of my builds is good life support. Always make sure you have plenty of time with your canopy crack because uh, it happens quite often with my silly armor builds and some of my jankier builds so you may as well sit in there uh, but thanks to Pirates RS's old railgun anaconda uh, he made short work of uh, this faz and between me and him we took it out and got back on with the piracy and the type 9 dropped a ton of cargo Pirates RS collected most of it while sitting there sniping away and left me some so we soon got on the scoreboard which is great um, there's nothing better than doing the CG with stolen goods. It's one thing I particularly love about FDEP. They really do lay on all the stuff for pirates at CGs. Um, FDEP have always been supportive of players wanting to pirate other players in open. Uh, it's one thing that they're very, very supportive of. They give us the tools to do it. They give us the chance to do it. They give us the equipment. They give us the opportunity. And they even lay on things at the CG to let us know that they want us to be there and doing it. Uh, they always lay on a black market, they very often there's an interstellar factor nearby, and as long as we don't kill people we're not going to rack up any notoriety, so we can quite happily get rid of our fines and bounties. We can restock on Olympus in the station where the CG is, uh, we can hand in stolen cargo at the CG station with the black market there and get on the scoreboard. And there's nothing better than completing community goals with stolen goods. And it is proof positive that FDEV support piracy and think piracy is a fun part of the game. And while some people consider us to be griefers and gankers and spend their time bemoaning what we get up to in game, it is nice to know that some of the devs are at least supportive of what we get up to in game. And it's nice that when they make comment about, you know, piracy making open a bit more of a fun, engaging experience. And, um, you know, player-driven content is something that Elite Dangerous severely needs to bring it to life. Um, without the player-driven content, without players doing things for other players, Open would just be a boring, sterile environment, and you may as well just be in private group or solo. But I think this is like the fourth community goal now that I'm going to complete just from piracy, which is great. That's what I like to do in-game, um, is have fun, pirate people, and like not worry about it there was people that I ended up having to kill um, you know this guy I gave him many warnings and I know people are gonna say well he was harmless you didn't have to kill him you could have just jumped out but the thing is I sent him multiple warnings I had said he's had no cargo I had no interest uh, he wouldn't stop shooting at me I gave him plenty of opportunity to escape but ultimately I am still a pirate I'm still a bad guy I'm not gonna jump out on a harmless commander because you know, he may then go off and think he won the engagement. So, you know, there becomes a point where, as a bad guy, I do need to stand up for myself and, uh, you know, show the bad, you know, show my bad guy true colours and do what I need to do. Also, I did kill the NPC that dropped in because, you know, why not claim the bounty while I'm here? You know, kill a player, 
kill an NPC, get some money. Um, this was the pirate ship I switched to after I did take a few uh, damaging moments in my uh, unshielded Cobra. I switched to the Bad Penny, which is my crate, which has reasonable shields, not brilliant. I've got, still got a manifest scanner on there, uh, etc. But, you know, we did rob a few people, we did scan a few people. Uh, this guy eventually got the idea of not shooting back. Um, and that uh, he didn't need to as we weren't that interested because he had, let me guess, no cargo, <laughs> free to go. <laughs> That's the phrase you get really used to typing as a pirate, uh, no cargo free, no cargo free to go, some such derivative of, you will get used to typing that very quickly. Unless your name's Harry Polo, because if your name's Harry Polo, you're typing, please drop 50 tons. Um, because for some reason Polo always gets every trader in the world that's stocked to the gills. We all pirated in this system for like hours and we got a decent amount of cargo, a decent amount of players. Though had Polo been on I swear we really got a lot more. In fact I think Polo's pirated more people on a wet Wednesday afternoon than I just did at the community goal on the first night. Uh, but we did get this anaconda that made me laugh because it had point defense on the top. Um, not anywhere near the cargo hatch and I kind of if you put point defense on a ship always think about where your cargo hatch is it's kind of it's great for defending your cargo hatch but when it was uh, the other side of your ship it meant you just get into the right position and then just hatch breaker and hatch breaker at will um, it took a while to, to work that out and get in the right position but once we did it's easy times and um, yeah that was kind of fun I did enjoy the amount of piracy that we got done. We robbed a fair few commanders. Uh, we let a lot of commanders go. We messaged a lot of commanders and saying that no cargo free to go. Uh, I killed one person, which I didn't want to do, but hey, you know, he had fair warning. Um, I took another guy's drives out and gave him fair warning that we were pirating this system and didn't want the competition, uh, which was this guy. Um, yeah, and there were a few other people trying to pirate down here, which is great to see. And um, if you're interested in getting into piracy, you can do a lot worse than joining the Dark Marauders or the Chimera crew, as we're two pirate groups that have a lot of fun. And also, if you want to do piracy and a bit of power play, always look up Kumo Crew. Uh, that's Kumo K U M and then a zero on Xbox. If you go into the squadron tab, look it up, you'll see Rebels the Leader, who was in my wing earlier this evening. And he's a lovely guy. Pirates Are Us is the leader of the Chimera guys which is TCHC, I think they uh, tags are. Um, so you can look him up in the squadrons tab and apply. And obviously the Pirate Orc is the leader of the DMPS. And you can look us up and apply if you wish to. Piracy is a fun activity and we're always looking for new pirates. It's not, not gameplay that suits a lot of people because you need an awful lot of patience. But most of the time will be spent just sit, sitting in Super Cruise, staring at the star, waiting. In fact, while I'm recording this video, it's 5am, I'm sat at a star waiting for people to drop it. Uh, that's what I do for a lot of the time, and that's how I get those piracy clips, is hours of waiting. Anyway, that's all for this video really. It's nice to get on the community goal, it's a tracker just from stolen goods, and I love the fact that FDev appreciate pirates enough that they put black markets in every CG. Anyway, that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching.